Hi. Let's move this bag out the way. <laughs> Oh, my God! <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen each other, right? Thank you. I love you. How did that come about? I just went over to her house. And there happened to be cameras? Yes. Seeing her in such a vulnerable state, what, what was going through your mind in those moments? I just wanted to be there for her, you know? And I just really wanted her to, like, see me. And sometimes I feel like whenever we're going through something or in a, in a space, sometimes we need just love and just for somebody to just listen. I'm real makeup. So beautiful. I think that Wendy needed that mm -hmm. that day. It was like perfect timing. And I know yeah, how like too. since that was filmed, have you been in touch with your dear friend Wendy? I haven't been in touch with no. Wendy. It's hard. It's very hard. It's hard to get in touch with her? Mm -hmm. A lot of very mixed, very critical feedback. What did you make of, of this documentary? I feel like these things, um, people actually do need to see it because it is happening. To see Wendy, you know, struggling obviously with the alcohol, I can relate to that and the part about the dimension in it and that the alcohol is what induced it, that, tri that triggered me. You get what I'm saying? Because that could have been me. Thankfully, Angela White is now 19 months sober, one of the many steps she's taken for her recent healing journey. Of course, Amber's also been making headlines recently, sparking romance rumors with Chris Rock. I like to keep my friendships very private. Mm -hmm. I've been friends with Chris Rock for like 13 years. I'm close friends with Sandra Bullock. How are Our you? kids play together. Mm -hmm. um, but my son and her daughter are best friends. They're on FaceTime all day. Mm -hmm. She's the most down to earth coolest person literally ever. Amber and Sandy, yeah, we didn't have that on our bingo card. Actually, same goes for these two ladies. You may remember these two mamas were once inseparable and then had a public falling out. So what made them rekindle their bond? China is so much more than my friend. She's like my sister. It wasn't anything um, salacious or mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, our friendship never crumbled. I think that we both had to grow for a little bit and mm -hmm. then come back and be the best versions of ourselves. Who was like the one that reached the olive branch out? Amber had reached out and she's like, you know, I'm proud of you and your sobriety. How is this friendship different today? I feel like it's more open and just being real. And I feel like now it's not a lot of noise. Now the reunited besties are teaming up with celebrity chef Bruno Serrato to serve his 10 millionth meal to underprivileged children through his nonprofit Katarina's Club. Such a great girl. They want to help my charity. I'm a fire my chef and my sous chef and hire them full time. You know, me and China did not grow up rich by any means. Um, actually, very poor. And. Um, you know, to be able to be in this position and give back is just is a beautiful thing and it's very important to us. <laughs>